In Hop White's Battle Royale, there are only a few weapons that you can consider truly legendary. Some may say that the Dragon Katana is the best, others the Lich Staff. However, none shine truly as bright as the Midas Sword. In this video, we get an incredibly lucky start and craft a Midas Sword before PvP. How many kills can I get? And what sharpness level will it upgrade to? Keep on watching to find out. And if you're part of the 98% of people who aren't yet subscribed, hit that sub button for more Hop White content just like this. Alright, solid start. Two golden apples. Wait, no, it's two god apples. What? This is actually gonna be the fastest Midas ever. So looking at the recipe for the Midas Sword, it's actually incredibly easy to craft. We just need a Notch Apple, a Golden Apple, a Diamond Sword, and two Quartz. Let's head immediately down to a cave and find a Lava Pool to head to the Nether. Or, okay, well, I should probably grab some apples for the Golden Apple first. Hopefully we get lucky and find some diamonds before we head into the Nether. That way we can go immediately on the hunt for players as soon as PvP is turned on. The reason that we want to rush PvP with the Midas Sword is because for every kill that you get with this weapon, there's a 50% chance to upgrade its sharpness level by one stage. Meaning if we get 10 kills, there's a chance that we could get a sharpness 10 Midas Sword. Let's go ahead and begin building the nether portal right here. And of course, I don't have a flint and steel. Why do I always do this to myself? Like, it's not that hard to mine one piece of gravel. And there we go. Let's head immediately into the nether. We only need two pieces of quartz, and it looks like there's quartz right here. And now all we need are two diamonds for the best legendary weapon. Luckily for us, the cave that I was exploring didn't seem to be explored by anybody else. And within only a few minutes, I managed to find a vein of diamonds. Wait, there's a diamond vein on the roof! Always make sure to go into F5 in caves. I There's no way that I would have seen that otherwise. Two diamonds and one stick, and that's a diamond sword. And putting all of the ingredients together, that's a Midas sword. God, I really hope that I don't drop first fight with this. So the last thing I want to happen is to run out of healing with a Midas sword. So let's mine up as much gold as we can in this cave, and then head up to surface to PvP. So what happened over here? I will take that. That's a free head. But I feel bad for this player for some reason. They even died with diamond pants. I will take that. They even made a diamond axe. Uh, I, I think this player might have been x-raying. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that this guy was x-raying? Because I do. And with that, I think it's time to head up to the surface and meet up with our teammates. For some reason, my voice chat is broken this game, so I won't be able to communicate with my teammates. But one of the players said that they made an enchantment table in chat, so let's go meet up with them. Okay, well, it turns out this player doesn't have the enchantment table yet, but they do have the two diamonds for it. So let's go ahead and craft some healing. And it looks like I'm the king this round, which I really don't mind because the extra health will go a long way and we went farming so we get two extra gaps with it this is looking like a pretty good start hopefully we'll be able to keep the momentum rolling and get some kills early game and there we go with the enchantment table but it looks like we're pretty close to border so we might want to head in soon Shortly after enchanting, we came across a very large team that severely outgeared us in armor. However, if we didn't fight this battle, we may fall behind with the Midas Sword. So with the few team members that we had gathered, we initiated a fight. Dude, you're not Michael Jackson. Stop moonwalking and fight. Okay, we're not. There is literally too much going on. I don't even know what I'm swinging at. All right, that's one down. Give me those diamond boots, baby. What's going on? What's going on? What? What? I don't understand what's going on here. Why is this guy spam clicking? All right, there goes another. All right, one more guy. If I kill this guy, I get his chest plate and I'm full diamond. I'm gonna all in him here. Let's fuck! Oh my god! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Holy! Wait, these guys are actually scumbags. Wait, shit, I dropped the head. Okay, at this point, I just have to run. I don't have enough healing to fight these guys. Once I got far enough away from the enemy team, I circled back to the loot pile to pick up the diamond chest plate. Luckily, when I made it to the loot pile, it didn't despawn and it was still there. Now with the sharpness through Midas Sword and full diamond, I was ready to keep fighting. Unfortunately, my entire team except for one person died in that fight. So now it was me wielding the Midas Sword versus the entire lobby. Lucky for me, there was a team of full iron players only 50 blocks away from us. However, when I approached these iron enemies, I realized there was actually an entire team. Was I really going to take on an entire civilization all by myself? Um, yeah, I love making rational decisions. Oh, dude, what a terrible time to take off your armor. He logged! Oh my gosh! Hold on, wait, that's actually so lucky, but it's also hilarious. All right, thing one and thing two, bring it on, boys. Oh, 
Okay, we're actually so clean with it, though. Okay, it looks like their other teammate ran off. Kind of scummy. He looked like he was the most stacked, and he just left his iron teammates to die. I mean, I really don't blame him, though. I'd run, too, if I saw Big Sword swinging Lackey running at me. No, it looks like he's actually right ahead in this bamboo forest. I'm going to make him pay for his crimes. Because those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. After running an entire marathon, I finally caught up to the player. But after a small fight, he ended up running even more, which led us into another team of two. Come on, dude. It's literally been 10 minutes of running. And now we're getting chased by a different team. So either way, we're both dead. Okay, dude, I get it. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, look who finally decided to grow a pair and fight. And get out of here. Okay, I whiffed that one tremendously bad. Okay, I know that this is going to throw off the pacing of the fight a little bit. I was so confused what the purple thing that this guy hit me with was, so I slowed it down, and it's, a, it's an egg. And it hatches a purple chicken, what? Okay, back to it. Okay, we got one of them. Holy. Literally two full diamonds taken down. Well, okay, well, only only one of them so far, but... Going into deathmatch with nine kills, my Midas Sword was upgraded to Sharpness 8. As the gates opened, I immediately rushed a team to my left who had much less gear than me. Yeah, you like that? You like that? You want some more? Teammate, tag team, let's go. Okay, or not, he's dead. Wombo combo, that ain't Falco. Bro, give me some space to breathe. Okay, I'm out of gapples. Nice. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's sharpness nine. And while I have some downtime, I'm just going to turn all of these gold nuggets into ingots and make some more healing. And there we go, two more gaps. Okay, sharpness 10, let's go. Okay, you're the guy that ran the marathon earlier. I am gonna kill you. Ooh, drop with the gaps. Rest in peace, bro. The final team left standing were the strongest players in the game. On top of owning an Emerald Sword with Sharpness 5, they also held a Dragon Katana, arguably one of the strongest legendary weapons. Okay, well, GG, I just ran out of healing. There's not much I can do here. Okay, GG. Okay, in my honest, genuine opinion, I don't think that the Midas Sword is the best legendary weapon. Honestly, I still feel like the Lich Staff is better than the Midas Sword. If you want to see me using that legendary weapon, I do have a video on it, so go check my channel. The Midas Sword is definitely good if you can PvP, but the Lich Staff is OP regardless of your PvP skills. So because of that, I'm going to rate the Midas Sword below the Lich Staff.
Okay, well, I have to be honest with you guys. I made a promise to myself that if I got a Midas Sword recording and lost, I would do a Hoplite VIP giveaway for all of my failures. So if you made it to the end of the video and would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is put your IGNs down in the comments below. Of course, liking and subscribing helps, but it's not required. One random viewer will be chosen within one week of this video airing live, and their comment will be pinned, so if there's another comment other than mine that's pinned, the giveaway is ended. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the others on the screen right now. But for now, I am out.